This is the Arduino tutorial number two, hosted by the real Tony Stark. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to be covering pseudocode. What is pseudocode? Great question. We'll be answering that in a moment. Uh, for this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer, which I presume you're already on. The Arduino software, which you can find in tutorial number one. A semi-solid grasp of the English language. And a bottle of water. It's important to stay hydrated. Uh, pseudocode, what are we talking about? Well, pseudocode, uh, my definition of it anyways, is a broken version of the English language sentences that help us structure our code before we write it. Um, so what we're really doing here is just kind of breaking down what our code is going to do for us step by step in language that hopefully makes sense to most of us right now, even if you have no prior programming experience whatsoever. For those of you familiar with uh, any type of coding, this tutorial is probably going to be fairly uh, straightforward. You'll probably already have a good grasp of this. Uh, for those of you who don't, that's what this is for. So, pseudocode. Um, we're going to be using the same scenario for the next few videos. Uh, so what I want to do is, let's see if we can, how about something like uh, bathing a monkey? Alright, we're going to talk about bathing a monkey. Now, uh, that might seem pretty straightforward to most of us, how to bathe a monkey. Well, what are the steps? We need to break this down because computers uh, and especially the Arduino, which is very basic. Uh, it, I mean, it can do a lot, but it really needs to have be told everything that it's supposed to do. For us, it'd be fairly straightforward to give instructions to another human, and we'd probably get the task accomplished. We could say something like, um, fill the bathtub, then place monkey in tub, then... Uh, wash monkey, dry monkey, clean monkey. Um, and they'd probably succeed. I mean, we didn't tell them to use soap, but they'd probably know to do that. Uh, this is, this is where the next step into pseudocode really means we have to be explicit because the computer would not know to use soap. Um, it would not know what to do with the clean monkey afterwards. It would not know when to stop filling the bathtub. Okay, so there's a number of things in here that are implicit when we tell another human, but need to be explicit when we uh, write it in programming. So, this is no good for programming. So how do we do this? Well, what is the real first step? What is the very first thing we need to do when we are bathing a monkey? Well, in this case, I'm, I would decide that it's something like uh, turn on water. Okay, uh, faucet. Alright, which one? I'll turn on cold water faucet. Okay, turn on hot water faucet. Okay, and how long? For um, keep on or I don't know, two minutes. It's probably not a lot of water. Okay. And I'm going to add my punctuation because I am a good grammaticist. It's not a word. All right. Uh, so what we've done here is we've filled up the tub to some certain amount with both hot and cold water. Okay, now that it could understand, uh, except we still haven't told it to turn off the water. Keep on for two minutes. It's kind of implied, but we're going to say turn off both faucets. Okay. Now, uh, before we just stick a monkey in the water, what do we need to do? Well, we need to check its temperature. Okay, so um, touch water with fingers. Okay. Um, if the water is hot, um, wait until cooler. If the water is mm, perfect, uh, insert monkey. If the water is cold, add more hot water. Okay. Now, again, 
what we've done, there's still a lot of stuff that's implied with those statements, but we've created a very, 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 very important uh, piece of code, which is the if statement. <gasps> Ooh. All right, so we'll get to that in a later video, but what we're really looking at here is a condition. All right, so if the condition is this, do this. If it's this, do this. If it's this, do this. So those are really important when we're talking about uh, reading in, in stuff in, from the environment, so button pushes and rotation of knobs and other sensors, uh, what to do when those values change. So this is a very good thing. Now, um, uh, what we want to do is wait until the monkey's been inserted, and then we will say, okay, so um, uh, once monkey is... Or I would say if monkey, if monkey is in the water, um, apply soap, wash, repeat three times. Okay, uh, so that's really important too. Okay, we want to wash it, but not forever. So we want to have a limited number of times that we, you know, just apply soap, wash. Okay, um, if monkey, well, I guess we'll say, um, so check if monkey is clean, um, if dirty, repeat washing, if clean, remove from water, Dry monkey with towel. Clean monkey. Okay, so there is our pseudocode. Um, it's a, it accomplishes the same thing as the previous version that I wrote, but this one is much more explicit. And a computer would actually be able to, if it could, you know, assuming it could do all this, all these things, um, it would actually accomplish the goal that we want. Uh, while preserving the monkey's safety and not putting him into boiling water. Okay, so these are these are um, really really important things to grasp. It's really helpful even if you don't write this out to think this out uh, before going through uh, and, and writing your code. Um, so we are going to to use this example in uh, future. Uh, teaching of the various ways to type this in code. Um, so we might add a few steps, change a few things, but this is essentially what we're going to be using. So that's pseudocode. Um, come up with an example that you can think of. All right. So any any type of example you can think of. Uh, we're talking like if you want to turn on a light. Okay. So as sim something as simple as that that we take for granted is walk in a room, flick a switch. Okay. So we'd say if switch is up, turn light on. If switch is down, turn light off. Okay, now that's really, really basic code. That is your essentially your blink sketch as well, which uh, we will talk about in the next uh, next tutorial. Uh, but this is this is all we're talking about here. Just thinking step by step. Okay. Um, in that case, it's fine to stay on forever. What if you only want it to stay on for a certain amount of time? There's a lot of things that have to be considered, and it's really important that you break those down in your mind first so that we can kind of attack half the problem before we even start to write the code. Okay? That's pseudocode. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be starting actually translating this into Arduino code, and uh, we'll use, as I said, this, some of these examples for that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.